and we provide updates on highlights the way the government of Salon they do so that Una the journalists they will get access to this news information. As we go forward, we get from the trusted highlights that will be available on the website and how we platform them. So not to just follow Kangi Daya, but I'll get ways then for cross check this information. I'll, I'll try to go very fast. One na point from when I say the ambassador for Salon to the United States, Ambassador Siddiqui Abu Akawai, he gets a productive bilateral engagement at the State Department with the African Bureau team. We include the Deputy Secretary of State, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for West Africa and Asia, and the Desk Officer for Salon in Guinea. The update is dinner that the United States government continues for pledge of support for President Liu in national election systems review, and they don't make a commitment to they will send an MCC delegation for Mr. Salon very soon. Uh, that successful engagement has been followed by Kutsi visits with Ambassador Y, the, host, the incoming United States Ambassador to Salon, His Excellency Brian D. Holmes. Just want to reiterate again the point say the relationship between Salon and the United States continues to be very strong and we will continue to get conversations on how we move all the partnership um, initiatives um, forward. Um, another update for share now that the Vice Chancellor of the Regional Maritime University of Ghana, Professor Jethro Brooks, does sign an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, with the Salon Maritime Administration for enhancement in and the and domestication of the standards of training, certification, watchkeeping for seafarers, the convention. This will enable Salon for independently train young seafarers there. Uh, on Friday 18th, August 2023, the Minister for Internal Affairs, Major General David Taluva, also began a dialogue with the transport stakeholder then to remind them of the rules then and regulations and the attitudes of drivers and road safety <coughs> and pedestrians then. This uh, meeting includes major players then across the transport sector and they agreed for continuing to work together for increased, increased safety um, at the road. I'll pass quickly to um, Ibola Yusuf Sandi, the Deputy Minister, for read the Salon Police press release with the date 17th August 2023. So we just read that very quickly and then we go forward. Okay, so I will be part of the first thing I'll read. Um, put them out. The Salon Police notes with dismay the increased level of lawlessness and recklessness displayed on our roads by some motorists, garage owners, vehicle owners, motorcycle and tricycle riders. These acts of lawlessness and recklessness have in many ways contributed to the increased number of recorded road crashes in the country, some of which have resulted to serious injuries, fatalities and damage to property. Against this backdrop, the SLP would like to inform the general public that effective September 1, 2023, the Directorate of Traffic Management and Road Safety will enforce the following traffic measures and regulations with a view to restoring sanity on the roads, ensure the safety of road users, and also improve on the free flow of traffic. First, it shall be prohibited to abandon or park vehicles, motorcycles, or tricycles on the road. Garage owners shall also not be allowed to use any of the roads as a garage. Vehicle, motorcycle, tricycle, or garage owners must therefore ensure that they remove all vehicles, motorcycles, or tricycles presently abandoned on the roads on which are parked for the roads for the purpose for the pairs. Two, it shall be prohibited to park vehicles on any of our roads in Freetown and in the provinces for more than one hour. The police and SLISA will, com will ensure strict compliance. If no vehicle under any circumstance shall be allowed to park on or along the hillside by pass road. Number four, all bike riders and their pillions must use helmets while flying the roads. Defaulting riders and pillions will be arrested and prosecuted. Five, with immediate effect, motorists, bike and tricycle riders are prohibited from parking on all major junctions along the road leading to and from Waterloo and the provinces. Motorists and riders are only allowed to drop and pick up passengers or pillions at all major junctions. And lastly, the restriction placed on commercial motorcycles.
from give from from applying the central business disputes is maintained as still in force. This come out from the media relations department as I look for this. 